I mentioned before, I cannot lean on this deadlift position. Okay, I have to be on the squat position. So, first thing I do is I control his hand with my both hands, and then I'm gonna step forward and I squat. Okay? So, I squat here, I stretch my back. Okay? So now it's harder for him to choke me when I stretch my neck. It's much harder for him to choke than if I'm here. Okay, so, but instead, I, I did it here, I could skate from his back, you know, just break and skate from his back, but if the guy is bigger and have a better attack, it will not be that simple. It will not be able to walk outside him and break his grip. Okay, so he comes, I hold, I will step my leg inside and I will stretch my back, my neck. Notice, his arm is in front of me. He needs to be, to be in front of him to choke him. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn and I'm going to be perpendicular to my arm. And instead of just doing that, now I move my hip inside and I keep going sideways. What happens is nothing on my neck here. And I keep going after him, you know, sideways as I'm working on his hand. Once I break the position, I can turn on his back. So, he wanted me to be in front of him. Okay? What I want to do is become perpendicular to him. He wanted me to lean forward. What I want to do is squat. He wanted me to bend in my neck. I want to stretch my neck. Okay, so it's no guillotines if I'm on this position. Try to put me on a guillotine. <laughs> put me on a guillotine. Okay, so it's a huge difference when you put your neck here or when you have your body like that. Okay, so you're going to lock the guillotine and you're going to hold. My head outside his wrist, the other hand, I will force his arm down like that. Because he needs to pull his, this elbow up to increase the pressure. So, I put his wrist down. Okay, so he came, I start to stretch and step in, keep forcing his arm down, then pretty comfortable here. So keep walking towards him, Always kind of perpendicular, always kind of sideways to him. And now we start twisting his wrist to stay to his back. Okay? And I always like to give the credit to this position to Hachin, what is one of our uh, first instructors on the Brazilian Black Belt Camp. They showed me this a few years ago and been working perfectly since then. Let's do it.